Hi guys, I'm now in Aston Martin Kuala Lumpur and behind me is the DB11 V8. Okay guys, so to recap, the Aston Martin DB11 is available with a choice of two engines, a 4-litre V8 as well as a V12. The base price of the V8 is 778,000 ringgit. But the example that you see here comes with a further 80,000 ringgit of options, bringing its final price to 849,000 ringgit, excluding duties and taxes so this unit here that you see is finished in what aston martin calls magnetic silver although in person it looks uh, it looks a bit of a dark gray kind of shape but still this is one of aston martin's more iconic colors next to the traditional silver made also popular by james bond's uh, db5 so uh, this car here, as I said, comes with 80,000 ringgit of options. But what options? Uh, we, we start with the most obvious part in the exterior, the black pack. And what this means is that the front splitter you see here, this is darkened. The front grille is darkened. All right, the bonnet mesh, this is finished in black. Now, here's a styling cue to differentiate between a V8 and a V12 DB11. You count the number of vents on the bonnet. The V8 here has two, the V12 has four. Now, you come to the side, okay? Uh, this is finished in gloss black. This side seal here is finished in gloss black. And uh, this particular car is optioned with 20 inch wide spoke wheels as well as red painted brake calipers. The side seal as part of the black pack is also finished in gloss black. So it's the side mirror uh, housing as well as base. And this whole part from the A pillar, this is what they call the roof strip, all the way back here, this is finished in black as well. You come to the back here, the tail lights, smoke finish. All right, the base uh, appearance of this tail lights is red like you see in the DBX over there. And uh, of course, down at the bottom, the, uh, the lower diffuser is also given a gloss black treatment. Okay, so the whole idea behind this, uh, this color combo to get this magnetic silver color combo with the, with the black pack finish, for the, the, the ideology behind the specking of this unit, is to give this car a, 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 a somewhat sinister but mostly understated uh, appearance okay so but if you go inside that con that is contrasted because inside here you open these doors you see it's a totally different story whereby it's more expressive so the ideology here is that uh is this is for someone who wants something um not too flashy not too showy on the outside but a little more adventurous on the inside where you see here the upholstery is finished in uh, black and red contrast and you see at the side here you've got this carbon fiber trim all right carbon fiber trim inlay and also this uh, what they call this dark chrome trim inserts as well here on the door handle all right and uh, here in the pedal shifters the aircon vents okay so uh, one as one option here available is that the infotainment system under this what they call Aston Martin calls the technology pack this pad here has touch function uh, whereas if you opt, opt without it then uh, it, it, the, this pad is still here but it's uh, you only interact with the infotainment system via the rotary knob you also have a powered opening of the center console box you don't have to hold the button uh, right if you want to keep uh, there's no one touch function for this and as part of the options list con uh, continuing 
the Aston Martin wings are sewn on the headrest here. Here, the seats here, this pattern here, you can see this is what they call the celestial perforation. And uh, the, the sewing here, the, the red contrast stitching here is what is called the nexus kilting. All right, the, uh, you can see the seat belts as well. It's also in contrast red and as as old as usual with Aston Martin, if you, you sit inside one of these, the interior build quality, the selection of materials, all very, very exquisite, very, very nice. And along here, you see uh, this is the you have carbon fiber trim inserts here, and a bit more understated, but impressive once you notice, you see this part, this fade fascia here, this is a leather insert, all right? Very, very nice, very, very, um, very upmarket in its feeling. Here's something uh, interesting also. There's no bonnet release latch. What you have here is a release button. Okay, to pop open the front hinged bonnet. All right. And in the engine bay, you can see Aston Martin's philosophy once again. Uh, they, 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 they don't believe in putting a lot of covers, right? a lot of elements in the engine bay are left bare, exposed. And you can see the, 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 op the clamshell opening of the bonnet. You see here the shape of this bonnet is smooth. And, and it's very clever the way Aston Martin integrated this whole thing to form a seamless wheel arch. All right. And here you can see elements of the chassis exposed. All right, here's the ABS module inside here. And oh, okay, and, and the engine, this engine, was, the final inspection is performed by Lewis Carell. So even though this engine is, um, well, it's, it's, the engine block is sourced from Mercedes AMG, the final construction of the engine still takes place in Aston Martin's family. So Aston Martin didn't just take the four liter V8 from the AMG GT and just threw it here. Uh, this engine, all right, is unique. Some components of this engine are unique in its application for Aston Martin. All right, and one more thing to, to marvel at, close the bonnet. The bonnet actually has a soft close feature right you have to press and make sure both sides are latched and then the mechanism will pull it down and you see here now that the bonnet is closed how beautifully seamless it matches back with the car's lines absolutely stunning all right so um this uh this unit of the DB11 V8 S spec here, available for immediate delivery, is priced at 850,000 ringgit, excluding duties and taxes. Right, so uh, finished in magnetic silver on the outside, black pack on the outside, luxury trim on the inside. This car appeals to those who want uh, one of those, you know, a, qui a quietly understated, yet, you know, yet with a bit of, 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 uh, of, of aggression simmering on the surface but uh, much more expressive on the inside okay so if you if this car tickles your fancy if this car um, appeals to you come check it out at Aston Martin Kuala Lumpur all right make an appointment and of course remember uh, in these times when you visit the car showroom SOPs apply uh, wear, your fa wear your face masks, social distancing, and all that. Okay? Until our next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Take care. Stay safe.